Slow Hinder saying a lot more jabs I haven't seen, I don't think, a conventional one as yet. Be that as it may, I would suggest John Nocta is in front, 29 to 30, according to Troy Waters. In fact, a six-round contest, my apologies. That's what it's slated for. Again, a little confusion ringside. Nocta with a glancing right hand. It certainly wasn't a knockdown. Drew Rick caught a little off balance. And from range, Nocta was able to throw punches and really not be hit, although he was oh, beautiful left hand there. Look, Nocta is just doing enough to keep Tim Drury at bay. Every time Tim Drury comes in, he's landing with one or two decent shots. And it's, it's just making uh, Tim Drury a little bit hesitant. He doesn't want to keep walking into those big on, shots. The get venue out continues to fill up here well, at the Central minute. Coast Leagues Club. Angelo Hyder, well respected in, the box, respected in the boxing community and also on the Central Coast, and they've come out en masse in support of him. He's in the corner, the red corner, in this contest for Johnny Nocta. Drury has been cut underneath the left eye. Yeah, Nocta is scoring some good shots on the outside. Tim Drury just not closing that gap enough. He's staying on the outside, he's, he's keeping his right. defence a little bit too open, and he's getting caught with some good shots. And that uppercut is the best punch at the moment for John Nocta. Settle the cut away. Dr Johnny O'Neill stepping up to have a look at Tim Drury. Okay. Okay. He allows it to continue, and John O'Neill, certainly one of the best in the business, has worked on me in the past. As the bell sounds to end round number four, it is a six-round contest. Apologies for mentioning it was four earlier on. And John Nocta, it seems, continues to dominate. Stop boxing like you did the last fight. Don't have any game plan. Start bringing this fucking straight. You've got to be more straight. Stop rushing. Great man, move. Stop rushing. You see him rest and then you start resting. Get back. Get back. Let's take a look at some of the action from round number four. Knocked up. Hands down low, certainly not defensively sound, but his lateral body movement is good and he is acting as his only form of defence in the respect that he is able to really get out of the way of the punches of Kimmy Drury to date. I'd suggest Drury has a bigger one-shot power punch but has yet been able to land. Yeah, I think Mitch is just doing enough to keep Tim Drury at bay. Hey, hey. Brian McMahon, our referee, becoming increasingly frustrated with Nocta. Well, he's going to have to be careful because he could get himself disqualified. Nocta without a victory on his professional resume. Just the one back. Was beaten by Brian Wills at TKO in the third round. We saw Brian Wills a little earlier tonight with a spectacular knockout of Clint Johnson after just 38 seconds of the first round. Drury on the attack, some nice body shots being found by the young man. That's what Tim needs to do, stay in close, let those body shots go straight right here to that body. He's a tall range of guy, that's what Tim Drury needs to do, he needs to take that body away. And get on the inside and negate that height and reach advantage. Get within range. He's a fast, stockier build than Nocta, and he should be using that to his advantage. In the opening couple of rounds, he has not. Back into an orthodox stance as Nocta. As I say that, he switches back to southpaw. Hair side, non-hair side. Nocta was caught there. 
18 to the kick those punches straight. John Nocky is now starting to suck the big breaths in. He is out of gas and still has to go another two minute section. End of round number five. And for mine, the contest evens itself out a little bit. What well, hasn't been a technically brilliant encounter, but entertaining it has been. The final round between okay. John Nocter okay. and Tim Drury. Okay. Mouth guard goes in. All right, box. And Nocter a little out of gas, we thought, in the closing stages of round number five. So how he fares in this final two-minute stanza could determine the outcome of this contest. Yeah, I think Tim needs a really, really big round if he wants to sit here to steal this fight. And Drury is on the offensive. A little bit slippery centre ring. That's what Nocta is complaining about to referee Brian McMahon. Yeah, you see Nocta keeps picking his man off here. It looks very awkward, very, very, you know, out of character. But look, he's picking his man off as he's coming in. There is an opportunity there for Tim Drury. The hands are down by the waist, even more so than what they were in the opening exchanges. And there are certainly shots available. Referee Brian McMahon is blowing time. They're going to call for a towel in the middle of the ring. On top of the sponsorship signs, it is getting a little bit slippery. All right, box. Continue on. Final round. Wear it well to wait. Better from Drury. Oh, beautiful double, double left hand followed by right hand. Is it enough to steal a victory? Right. I really don't think he's, he's scored enough clean shots in this round to steal this fight. We saw the draw between Guy Rin and Dean Robinson earlier tonight in the final seconds of this one. Anything is possible and is becoming increasingly slippery in the middle of the ring on top of the sponsorship, the heat from the lights. Yeah, the sweat coming off the boys and then uh, can cause a lot of traction problems. Ten seconds remain in this welterweight contest. Who is going to finish the stronger? Noctis still picking off his man. And they will end in a grapple. That's how they fought much of the contest. And we will go to the judges' scorecards. Tim Drury looking for the third win of his professional career. John Nocta looking to have his hand raised in victory for the first time. During that fifth round, Troy, it wasn't technically brilliant. In fact, being realistic, it was far from it. But it was exciting. It was even. It was exciting. It was even. It was. Uh, it was something that the crowd was enjoying. In the hobo came to fight, but so did Tim Drury, and uh, now it is up to the judges. It's a very, very close fight. The hobo came to fight after he got over his complete fixation with the television cameras. Still laughing and joking around, Johnny Nocta. Well, they're very confident in the corner. I think they believe that they have won the fight. Once again, we'll go to the judges' scorecards. We saw the only other contest tonight that did go to the judges end in a draw. This one a close one. There is no doubt about that. Jim Drury and his support staff that include Ray Hay from the 108 Super Lake Gym here at Wyong, reasonably confident in that blue corner. Just the five fights. An officer in the child protection unit is Tim Drury. So 
No, we're not all thugs. We're not all buffheads. Not all of us, anyway. Tim Drury, a very valuable service to the community outside of the ring. And no, I wasn't calling you a buffhead, Troy. That probably more applies to myself. <laughs> well, that's all right. I took no offence. Shannon's not here. We'll label him. We have the judges' scorecards in. They have deliberated for quite some time over the result of this contest. And the one man in Australia that does know the result was in centre ring. It's Rick Powell. Thank you, Andy. As referee Brian McMahon brings our fighters to centre ring, would you please give these two gallant warriors a big round of applause? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Judge Brad Frederick sees the fight 58 to 58. Judge Ted McDonnell sees the fight 55 to 59 Drury. Judge Alex Fraser sees about 56 to 59 Drury. The winner by majority decision, Tim Drury. Tim Drury, victorious. Mentioned earlier with Shannon Troy, the sound like a broken record. The differences in opinion of judging a fight. And well, as Shannon said, look, the judges from all different, you know, angles of the ring, they see different punches that we see, and um, they, they score the fight as they see it. 58, 58 on one card, 59, 55, 59, 56. A very wide spread of, of opinion. Yeah, a big disparity between this, the scoring, but um, as we say, uh, different angles, different judges, and uh, people see fights differently.